Beautiful night here at American Family Field. The roof is open. We head to the fifth. No score. John Chumby, Jim Deshays, Taylor McGregor, and down in the dugout, Justin Steele. How are you, sir? Doing good. How are y'all? Good. Um, first things first, how's your back? It's doing good. Feeling a lot better today. Um, we were able to get some uh, instant relief as soon as I came out of the game, so it was good. So very minor. So that's got to be a, a weight off your mind that you feel pretty good here today, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, I kind of figured it was that. It was, it was definitely just like a small tweak. But uh, it was better to be cautious in that situation, especially uh, the next guy was probably my last hitter regardless. So, mm. Popped up right side to Les. We'll pull it down at foul ground. Corner retired, and there's one away. We were talking last night about your fastball and gosh it's fascinating I mean everything can get measured nowadays but as it, it's as it's explained to me when you throw your fastball if you throw 30 fastballs in a bullpen for example 15 of them might cut and 15 of them might have ride or carry is that accurate um, I mean it just depends what I'm trying to do um, for instance, if I'm trying to go into a righty, I want it to cut a little bit more, especially if it's going down and into a righty. I want it to have cutting action, a little bit more depth. And if I'm going up and out to a righty, I want that one to have more carry and stay more true because I want it to get it above his barrel. And then same thing if I'm going up and into a righty, more carry with, uh, with some cut to get it in and above his barrel. What did you learn about your stuff in your game in, in the pitch lab over the last couple of years or however long you've been exposed to the, the Cubs pitch lab uh, that that kind of surprised you or you know you, you didn't really weren't aware of before you got, got in there and, and kind of dug in. Oh yeah I mean the technology definitely helps and it kind of just you know the numbers back up what you're trying to do and you're when you're able to put a number and a measurement on um, different pitches and you know seeing why pitches do what you're trying to do um, it just helps a lot. You know, and it's definitely helped with my four seam and my slider. It's helped tremendously with my slider, just figuring out different hand placements, different grips, and I feel like it's just gotten better and better. And you know, it's just something I want to continue going forward. One of the things that's interesting to me is that last year you had more of a four pitch mix, and this year it usually acts as the reverse. Last year you pitched some in the pen, and you started some, and you used more pitches, and now you're a starter and the pitch mix has shrunk a little bit and it's worked very well if you were to explain why tell me um, I would just I think it's just honing in on what I do well and I think um, I do really well for me like on the left side of the ball so cutting the ball throwing sliders throwing curveballs throwing breaking pitches and then um, you know there's certain situations in the game where I uh, throw a changeup, throw a sinker, throw something going the other way, whether it's because I'm facing a lefty and I want something going in on him or if I want something going away from a righty. But um, the slider and four seam and how I cut it, you know, that's just kind of what I do well. And that's, you know, if I'm going to get beat, I want to get beat, you know, with my best pitches. We were just putting a graphic up that showed best ERA in the big since July 1st. Justin Steele is the best ERA in the majors. Next is Justin Verlander. That's kind of cool. It is cool. That's a, I guess Justin's a good name. <laughs> and Bo's a good name too. How's Bo doing? Oh, Bo's doing good. They were, they uh, came to the game last night. They're, they're back at the hotel, just hanging out right now. But uh, ready to get back to him and uh, love on him. He's doing good though, just growing. How old is the little guy now? He is seven weeks. Seven wow. weeks. He's, we have the same birthday, July 11th. No one's missing that one. That's great. Yeah, my, it ain't my birthday anymore. <laughs> get down. Get down. Oh. Just foul. And down that third baseline, CB Bucknor confirming the Justin Steele call. All right, so this time of year, I know you get a little antsy, a little itchy, because we're getting close to college football time. Are you excited about Alabama? You know, I'm excited to win another national championship. Excited to, you know, uh, beat up on Auburn again. You know, just what, that, it's that, that time of year. It's the time to make it happen. I don't know whether you're familiar with Taylor McGregor and where she went to college. Uh, she uh, she attended Arkansas, so she'll she'll throw some woo pig at us. 
They've been irrelevant for a few years now, huh? Hey, listen, Whoa. we played you guys <laughs> the closest out of any SEC West team last year. <laughs> so I don't even want to hear about it. But I do uh, have a question. A lot of people think Ohio State should be ranked number one in the preseason poll. Give us your take as to why Alabama should be number one. Uh, just check the track, track record. I mean, it speaks for itself. 17 of them. And, and you've said on Saturdays you will be watching Alabama. Sundays you're watching the Saints. And Bo really doesn't have a choice as to his fandom. Yep. Are we talking? You already have onesies for him. Yes. I mean, what is that? Wow. What does that look like? We, we got some Saints onesies. We got some uh, Bama onesies. I uh, actually just ordered some uh, a Mac Jones jersey, a Derrick Henry jersey, and I got a Michael Thomas and a uh, Michael Thomas and a Kamara jersey. So. Please tell me you're doing that in the clubhouse because yeah. there would be nothing better than like, hey, what's going on? You checking out the. Uh, the horizontal movement on your cutter? No, actually, I'm ordering baby jerseys for Bo. Yeah, yeah, that's, that sounds exactly right. <laughs> I, I want to see Bo in a little houndstooth fedora, a little baby fedora. <laughs> oh, yeah, we definitely at some point we'll get that done. That would be amazing. Hey, Loosedale, Mississippi, your hometown. Yes, what, what goes on there? What's the action? <sighs> Pretty small town, yeah? Very small town. I think they had, I think high school football is going on right now, so they the county is getting riled up for some high school football right now. Um, but when I say the county, George County is the name of my county, mm -hmm. and we call it the county because there's only <laughs> one high school in the entire county that everybody goes to. Rebounds the other way, base hit. He would have hit that with his glove right there. That's three bases, right? Did he throw it? If you throw your glove yeah, at the ball. Off. Or did it come off? But, but, yeah, I, I think there's a difference between. I, I, there's definitely an extra base if it comes off unintentionally, right? Yeah. And then if you throw it, that, that's a three base penalty, is my understanding. Should we? But, uh, but it, it, it has to hit it. Yeah, should, should we review, see if it, like, tip it or something? Let me double check. I don't believe that is reviewable. I haven't seen that before, though. No. How are you doing, Noah? Your mom. Come on, man. Get out of the ballpark. Oh, my. In the air, down the left field line, <laughs> but foul. Oh, he crushed it. Oh, man. Uh, uh, do you uh, remember the, fir the first time that you interacted with this guy right here with Morrell? Uh, yes. I mean, he's had this energy ever since. I don't know exactly how old he was when I met him. I met him when he was pretty young. But he's had the exact same energy. But he was probably 30 pounds lighter when I first met him. He right. is, he's, he's a big boy now. Yep. And, uh, very strong, very athletic. He, he's a lot of fun to watch. Quickly back to football. <laughs> I know you're involved in about 15 fantasy football leagues. How many this year? I, I'm in three leagues. Three very serious. You know, I don't. I don't want to do 15 leagues and not be able to give my full attention to all of them. Okay. So I take three leagues extremely serious. Where are you on hiding people on the injured list? I mean, rules are rules. You know, okay. whatever you do within the rules, it plays it plays. You know. Okay. What is the most ridiculous thing that anybody in your league has had to do when they lose? Oh, that's a good question. That is that has to stay undisclosed. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, undisclosed. <laughs> I can't answer that. Can you can can you creep towards it? Can you? Uh, we 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 had a, a loser of the league do something really embarrassing. I mean, that, that's what was that's okay. what I can say. All I can't right. really hint at anything else. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One and two, Morrell waits two aboard. And Morrell down on strikes. Woodruff has struck out nine. Hey, real quick, what's it like watching Drew Smiley and that curveball and just the action? It's it that pitch is so weird. There's a curveball like that. It's because it, it, it has that gyro spin uh -huh. so that it, it's almost like a change up or that he's throwing a backup curveball. It doesn't it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it works. Yeah. So you keep doing it. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, 
but like I have a curveball too, but the way I throw mine is completely different than the way he throws his. But his is, his is definitely unique, and I mean it's been really fun watching the fish this year. Well, best to Bo and family, and uh, we appreciate you stopping by and uh, stay healthy, bro, because you're uh, you're pitching great. Absolutely, thank y'all. Y'all have a good one.